Welcome to the topic 5 of this unit, Introduction to Information System. And for this topic, it is entitled Data Resource Management. Here are our learning objectives for this topic. First, explain the business value of implementing data resource management processes and technologies in an organization. Next one, outline the advantages of a database management approach to managing the data resources of a business compared with a file processing approach. Next objective, explain how database management software helps business professionals and supports the operations of management of a business. And the next last objective, provide examples to illustrate each of the following concepts. Major types of databases, data warehouse and data mining, logical data elements, fundamental database structures, and database development. Let's define the word data resource management. It is a managerial activity that applies information system technologies like database management, data warehousing, and other data management tools to the task of managing an organization's data resources to meet the information needs of their business and stakeholders. So make a readings for this term, database management and data warehousing. And in the later part, we're going to discuss these terms. We have here the types of databases. The first one, we have operational databases. It will store detailed data needed to support the business processes and operations of a company. So these databases are also called subject area databases, transaction databases, and production databases. And the examples here are customer database, human resource database, inventory database, and other databases containing data generated by business operations. The next type, we have distributed databases. They can reside network servers in the World Wide Web, on corporate intranets or extranets of the other company networks. And distributed databases may be copies of operational or analytical databases, hypermedia, or discussion databases, or any other type of a database. More about distributed databases, they have both advantages and disadvantages. One advantage of a distributed database lies with the protection of valuable data. It means passwords and security of the databases are secured. So it means that if all of an organization's data reside in a single physical location in a server, the problem, any catastrophic event like a fire or damage to the media holding data, then what will happen? It would result in an equally catastrophic loss of the use of that data. That's the main disadvantage. By having databases distributed in multiple locations, so not centralized, the negative impact of such event can be minimized. That's the solution for distributed databases. So often a large database system may be distributed into smaller databases on some logical relationships between the data and the location. So example here, a company with several branch operations that may distribute its data so that each branch operation location is also the location of its branch database. I, I hope you've seen the logic here. Because of multiple databases in the distributed system can be joined together, each location has control of its local data while other locations can access any database in the company if so desired. The challenge of distributed system is all about data accuracy. Why? Because there are different locations. Somehow the databases, other locations may not be updated. The other location uh, will not be also be updated. So this updating can be accomplished in one of two ways. That is replication or what we call duplication. So take note of the term replication involves using a specialized software application that looks at each distributed database and then it will find the changes made of it. Okay? 
What when you say is your replication process, it's very complex and depending on the number and size of the distributed databases can consume a lot of time and computer resources. But take note of the two terms, replication or duplication. In duplication process, much less complicated, it basically identifies one database as a master and then duplicates with the database at this prescribed time after R so that each distributed location has the same data. So one drawback to the duplication process is that no changes can ever be made to any database other than the master to avoid having local changes overwritten during the duplication process. Nonetheless, properly used duplication and replication can keep all distributed locations current with the latest data. We have the term external databases. This term is available for a fee from a commercial online services and with or without charge from many sources of the World Wide Web. So data are available in the form of statistics and economic and demographic activity from statistical data banks. Uh, how can you can view or download abstracts or complete copies of hundreds of newspapers, magazines, newsletters, research papers, and other published material and periodicals from bibliographic and full text databases. So for example, you will search in Google or in any browser and something the internet then using external database. So it's a very large database. Other database known as hypermedia database. What do you mean by hypermedia database? Consisting of hyperlink pages of multimedia. I hope you've learned it, hyperlink from your unit uh, web developments, okay? So I will not uh, focus on this term but in other units, one of your units is web development, uh, HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So a text, graphic and photographic images, video clips, audio segments, and many more. So that is a database management point of view. The set of interconnected multimedia pages and website is a database of interrelated hypermedia elements. You will encounter this one in that unit I mentioned, the web developments, okay? So the web server software acts as a database management system to manage the transfer of hypermedia files for downloading by the multimedia plugins of the web browser. So please de define this word, uh, multimedia plugins. So we have here the components of web-based system. We have the web browser as a client PC connected to a web server software, the network server, and and the network server, it will go to the hypermedia databases where in web pages, images, files, are the video files and the audio files. For your assignments, kindly read one technical foundations of database management and kindly define the following terms and put them in your summary notes. For review, we have character, field, attribute, entity, record, file, database, hierarchical structure, network structure, relational structure, and multidimensional structure in object-oriented structure. Let's define the following terms and put it in your notes. That ends the first part of this topic. And next video will be the second part of topic five. Thank you very much.